Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started making the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22610 available to insiders. And this started rolling out on the 29th of April, which was yesterday in my region of the world. And once again, Build 22610 um, has been made available to both the dev and beta channel insiders. Now in this latest preview build, Microsoft says they have um, included numerous fixes and they've also included some new changes and improvements in build 22610 which i thought i would once again quickly highlight for you again in this video today and uh, that will be using some screenshots taken from build 22610 and then just to make some quick mentions near the end of this video in case you're interested now in no particular order the first change is to do with the family safety widget um, and there are actually three changes um, for this app. Um, the, the first, they say they've updated the widget with improvements for all family members with a new location sharing view, as we can see, um, that now shows where your family members are while using the app. And then the second change is regarding the device usage, uh, where they've improved the view of your screen time across apps and devices. And then the third change to the app um, they've, is regarding the apps usage, where you can now view your apps usage in the um, family safety widget. So those are three changes that have rolled out to that app with bold 22610. Now the next screenshot is regarding the battery icon where there are actually two changes. And um, the one here, I'll just have to zoom in so you can see it properly in the video, uh, is they've updated the battery icon on the lock screen to be consistent and look the same now as the battery icon in the taskbar. And then just to mention uh, the second change, they say um, they've if your PC supports it, uh, they will now show the estimated battery life timing in the tooltip for the battery icon in the system tray now as well, which I personally think is a move in the right direction. And the next feature I actually posted on just a couple of days ago. Um, and I think this is quite a key change. They've updated the processes page in the task manager so that the colors used in the heat map, as we can see, are now based on your accent color. So as many of you know, if you head to your settings app, your personalization options, you can choose a system accent color as an example for your start menu and your taskbar. Now this can also be applied in the task manager, but they say, please note, in certain cases, we will use the default blue accent color to ensure readability. So obviously there have been some issues with the readability using other accent colors. And then the uh, last screenshot, just to view that um, some changes with the file explorer is regarding the file explorer where microsoft um, mentioned here that they've updated icons as we can see in the highlighted areas for options like rename properties and optimize in the context menu and the command bar so those are just some changes made to the context menu and the command bar so that's the screenshots now just to mention some other changes and improvements quickly just in case you are interested now the the next change um, in build 22610 is regarding some new policies that Microsoft has made available, especially to IT administrators, who can now simplify Windows 11 um, in the start menu, the taskbar, and the system tray. And this is with some new policies they've rolled out, and these policies can be enabled using the group policy editor. Now, just to mention these quickly, uh, they can disable the quick settings flyout, they can disable the notification center and calendar flyouts. They can disable all taskbar settings. They can disable search in the taskbar and also uh, in the start menu. Um, they can hide task view from taskbar. They can block customization of pinned in, in the start menu. That's your pinned apps. They can hide recommended in the start menu. Uh, they can dis disable start context menus and they can hide all apps in the start menu. So most of those are pertaining to the start menu. And then just to mention another change, um, the SMB1 client has now um, also have received a change. Now, if you don't know what this is, um, basically the SMB1 client um, uh, is a protocol that Microsoft uh, made available um, uh, back in the early 1980s, as far as I can remember. And they began to phase and, and fade out support for the protocol around about in 2017 when they started rolling out Windows 10, the full creators update. Now, 
um, what they mentioned regarding the SMB1 client uh, in the release notes is the Windows 11 Home Edition dev and beta channel builds no longer enable the SMB1 client by default. So what I'm talking about, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, is if we go to the programs and features in the legacy control panel, click on turn Windows features on or off. Um, yeah, we have the, if we just extend that, the SMB1 file sharing support. So that's now what they will no longer be enabling by default in Windows 11 Home Edition now in the dev and beta channels. And this could be made available by default for the next feature update also um, uh, for, uh, version, uh, for Windows 11. And for now though, they say this is limited to insider builds of the operating system as mentioned. And then just to mention some other changes quickly before we get to the end of this video. Um, uh, the watermark that used to be in the bottom right hand corner of your desktop um, is no longer present in this build and Microsoft says the watermark will return to insiders in a future build and then as a result of feedback from insiders they've disabled the tablet optimized taskbar feature that rolled out in insider build 22563 for now and they say they hope to bring this feature back in the future after further refinement and testing and something I have mentioned um, in previous videos um, the Microsoft mentions here is that they say features we try out in the dev and beta channels may not always ship so I have posted on that quite frequently where the features you get in the dev and the beta channel are not always guaranteed to roll out in stable versions of the operating system and then apparently widgets um, the, the changes in widgets that bring more dynamic content Microsoft says in the release notes to your widgets board announced with build 22563 are now rolling out to more Windows insiders and almost at the end uh, settings just a small change recently as many of you know the your phone app was renamed phone link so if we head to these settings and we go to uh, Bluetooth and devices uh, the your phone which it's currently called uh, in the settings now in bold 22610 has been renamed to phone link and i think that's more or less it and then just the rest as mentioned there are a whole lot of fixes they've said they've rolled out and um, too many to mention in this video and um, but if you are interested i will leave the um the change log and the release notes to bold 22610 uh, i'll leave a link down below in the description box so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one